In this video, we are simply going to create a basic HTML file and just add one line of JavaScript, just as an introduction to JavaScript, and then confirm that it's working. Once it's working, we'll just take that file and upload it to a hosting account, just to confirm that we can get it working online. Now, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are all client-side languages. So what that means is the languages are interpreted by the browser. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are downloaded from the server, the computer hosting the website, to your computer, the client, and the browser converts those, those three different languages into a visual website. Now, in a, an ideal situation, the HTML is handling your content and structure, your CSS is handling your visuals, and your JavaScript is adding additional interactivity. So in our example, let's just create a button and let's add some JavaScript so when that button is clicked, we get a little hello world message. So I'm using Visual Studio Code, so I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna call this hello world.html. I'm going to start by just adding my basic HTML tags. And in the body section, I'm just going to give it a title. And I'm going to add a button. All right, so at this point, we have a really basic HTML page with just a title and a button. Now, if I want to test this, again, because it's HTML and eventually CSS and JavaScript, I can test simply by opening a browser and opening my HTML file. So if I open up a new tab, and then open up my hello world file, I get my web page. Now at this point, that button will do nothing. So if I click that, I get no result. Let's add a little bit of interactivity by adding some inline JavaScript. So I'm gonna add an event here on click. And once I have an event attribute, I can place JavaScript directly in these quotes. I'm gonna run a JavaScript function called alert. The alert function will cause a little pop-up to appear in our browser with a little beep with the message, hello world. So if I save that and then reopen or refresh my page here, now if I click our button, we get a little hello world message. Now, if that doesn't appear for you, then you've likely made a mistake somewhere in the code. So let's say, for example, I miss a quote. So I'll take that quote out and then save and refresh my page. Now, when I click my button, I'm back to no result. When you have any errors with JavaScript, you can get helpful information by right-clicking and opening up your developer tools, going to your console tab, and in here will be some helpful information. Okay, so here you can see the line that is causing a problem is highlighted. Now the error in this case isn't that helpful, in an invalid or unexpected token. The, the error messages will become easier to understand the, the more you code and the more you have to work with them. But if I put that quote back in and save, close my developer tools and refresh, and now we're back to that working. So let's say we're done and now we wanna get this page online. So I'm using a free hosting service called Infinity Free Hosting. Uh, you you kind of get what you pay for, but for testing PHP and JavaScript, HTML and CSS, uh, it's, it's fine. So I have a temporary domain here called codeadam.epizzy.com. So I'm gonna copy that. 
And I have put my FTP credentials in here. So I'm just going to connect to that hosting account. And I'm going to upload my file to my HD docs folder. All right, then I can open up a new tab, put in my URL of my web page, and there's my file. And if this worked locally, for the most part, this should work online as well.